Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I am Abigail, the ultimate guru, and with me, as always, is my co-host, the world's only comedian, Bryden Proctor. Duh. <laughs> and also, also, the return of Tappy, the first time since our hiatus. Don't turn it I Don't turn it off. He's with me now. He's under my wing. I didn't listen to that That's episode, little... but it was not... <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> People said it was bad. I didn't listen to it. I like Tappy. I think Tappy's cool. It's good. You, we just have you. to rate him in. We, we're supposed to have a, a Tappy Wrangler here, but maybe he'll pop in later. It's a secret uh, ha surprise. Happy to be back, reporting live from a literal e-girl's basement. Yeah, so explain to us what you were trying to tell us before we started recording about okay. the stepmom sex. Yeah, I'm glad that you asked, because <laughs> uh, this is very important to me. So, uh... Personally, I don't see a difference in terms of what these questions are getting at. When women say, would you still love me if I was a worm? Which I think is a legitimate question. I understand what that's trying to get at. Okay. But yeah. I, I asked Lucy the other day if she would still let me hit if I was her stepson. And she mm -hmm. said no. And I don't see the functional difference between it's those different. two. Women. It's different. No, you're it is. It's asking it... about love. You, you know, the equivalent would be, would you still love me if you were my stepmom? It's uh, okay. Of course, look, but it would be a different kind of love. No, right? no, 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 no. Oh, the worm is much more stupid than, you know, what we know through anime and some of these, these documentarian films that I've seen in my life that the love there while hitting between a stepmom <laughs> and a son, a stepson. You know, it can be passionate, sloppy, yeah, loving, messy, I've heard. sticky love, you know? Okay, that's and... disgusting. That's terrible. Look, no, I someone call it I... disgusting. I think loving a worm is disgusting. Like, okay, yeah, but we're not talking about having sex with the worm. Nobody said that. Nobody said sex with the worm. Nobody yeah, said. Yeah, but okay, so what I'm saying is it's not equivalent because you're not saying No, that. It, is equi it is equivalent because for for men... We have to love you, uh, we, you know, for you to uh, let us hit. Okay. No. Okay. You That's have to love us. We're gonna you, say you have to love all. us. You rephrased that very quickly when you realized how stupid you were about to sound. No, nope. that was even stupider. Okay. No. Women have to love animals. us. Women have to love us to let us okay. hit. So it is the same. No. Okay. That's okay. Yes, but there are other oh! kinds of love. Oh! Okay. Oh! So you Bro, have dude, to right. love them first okay yes but it's not if you love them you let them do that no that's, that's the old that no that's the old saying if you love something let him hit no it's not <laughs> I, th I think i have heard that before i think that's what the episode with ash and oh, butterfree God. was about if you remember no 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 we're not doing this that was the thing butterfree no, but, I. What don't, the, you, don't you remember Ash and Butterfree? If you, like that was the moral of the story. No, that's not. I really don't think that was the moral of that story. Did you not see that episode? Which episode where Butterfree evolved? No, or the whatever, one or when where it evolved like, into it's Butterfree? debating if it still wants to be on Ash's team or not. Okay. Can I just hold on? Like, can I, I don't can think I, that was about sex. Can I just interject real quick and say that both of you guys are fucking fags, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm only here so I don't get fined. I've seen seasons one through 22 <laughs> of Pokemon, okay? You need to understand that I saw no... I don't think Ash hit any of them. No, he was fucking Misty, dude. I yeah, know that much exactly. about Pokemon. She's I, a human being. I know that much about Pokemon. <laughs> Debatable. What? No, what? What? Debate it. Misty was letting Brock fucking hit? No, nobody was. It's really sad. It's one of the saddest things because if anyone deserves a girlfriend, it's Brock. I don't really know uh -huh. anything about the show. I just knew that, like, when I was young, um, Misty had a pretty short skirt, and I was like, "Oh yeah." But if I can bend my head towards oh the TV God. screen enough, you don't have to bend nothing. You're five foot tall. Okay, I was way shorter when I was a kid, and that was on okay. the TV. Well, there's no bending. Listen, I'm telling you, back in the day, what we used to do, and this okay. was an insane thing. This is all kids, all little boys were like this. You you get this idea in your head that you can just bend your your view around the blurriness on some titties, and you're gonna be able to see them. You can't. 
I, I remember I was, I was, you know, nice. eight years old. I was bending my head against the TV screen going, there's got to be pussy up there. There's got to be. That's stupid. Yeah, I know that's it's stupid. Really I was stupid. I was a that's fucking... like the age that they give kids IQ tests. That's like your version of the IQ test. What, no, being a horny? Of, it's like... No, it's like the person that holds like the the piece of the printer paper against the beer with like an apple on the other side. Yeah. And they're like, how does the beer know that there's an apple on the other side of this piece of paper? Okay, but how do you like if if you try? It's like any type of magic trick like that. If you show that to a fucking seven year old, <laughs> their mind is blown because they're seven. All right, at seven, I was like, I gotta see some boobies, dude. There's the there's the whole no, purpose of it. It's seven. That's really disturbing. I don't know, man. I was, I was fucking. Why did you I, even care? I was ready to fuck from a young age. Yeah, and you didn't for like ever because you're a little short gremlin man. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. All through my adolescent years, I didn't get any pussy. You're right. I, in a perfectly normal sequence of events, oh, I didn't get any pussy when I was ten. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I was implying it was a lot longer than that. Oh no, I was eighteen, so, which is still a bit late. Content on this show. What? Is there is there going to be like content? Do you have like segments? You know what? You you mind your own business. Of course, there's content on this show. It is a little a little out of whack. Cause what you're going to start with? Something you're not else. what? You're not content. Just chatting? No. Ah, come on. Give it up, everybody. Uh, dear, Ab We're going to get into our Dear Abby segment. First. No, I want to dear... talk more about how horny of a seven-year-old no, I was. No, I don't. Nobody wants to hear that. That's yeah, not no, good just, content. I'm telling you, Kim Possible, uh, the, the female reindeer from Rudolph the Claymation, should have me bricked up. Oh. Oh, I mean, I literally God. believe that. I literally believe it's... that. <laughs> no. No, you have no idea. Like, do you know how much I've heard about Robin Hood, like the Fox version, though, from girls? Oh, did they were into him? Oh yeah, yeah. Dude. It's like that Lola Bunny thing for boys, but it's Robin. Hood. You think <laughs> that Kim Possible was made to be like a like sex icon, or do you think that was accidental? What? No, no. 100%. It's a little girl's idea of you know, like a. I, I little girls look up to like hot women. To be no, because because Kim Possible strikes me as like a show for like little boys more than little. No, it's all girl power. It's That's like saying because show. Buffy is hot, that Buffy was for boys. Buffy was not for boys. Buffy was for girls, but the the boys had watched it. You know, they'd sit there. Oh yeah, no, it's a pretty, it's a pretty all gender show ultimately because there's so many different characters and stuff. But no, that's yeah, not why. Do like, a, were we gonna do content at some point? What this are you trying is, to this do? Is, this is why people don't like you. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think there's a lot of reasons people don't like me. Actually, I like you. I like oh, you. Thanks. I think you're great. He's trying oh, to I think help you're you. Great. I think you're high key poggers. This is great. Okay. I don't know what that means. I hope it was a compliment. I think yeah, it no. was. I am high key bonkers, everybody. Boggers. <laughs> Boggers. I'm bonkers. Boggers. Bonker. P O G G E R S. Boggers. I'm high. I, guys, I'm high G poggers. I hope that doesn't okay. mean a fag. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. All right. Dear Abby, where were you the morning of September 11th, 2001? That is none of your business. Oh, I got a great, I got a great one. I think we've answered this It was this on a rooftop before. dancing across. <laughs> a lot of people have asked. What used to be the World Trade Center. <laughs> Where were you, Brad? <laughs> well, I was in uh, detention, and then um, they took me out, and then I was in, um, in the eighth grade, I think. Uh, I was in detention, and then they took me out, and then uh, there was just a TV that they had rolled up that we usually watched, you know, documentaries or whatever on about the Civil War or some shit. And I was in either history or English class. I can't remember. Uh, and my teacher was crying and I was cracking the fuck up going, this is hilarious. That's fucking awesome. And the teacher was so distraught. And this was obviously a huge event that nobody even stopped me. 
And a, a lot of the class was still in horror. A lot weren't paying attention. Oh, yeah. And then I was just laughing my ass off being a, a dickhead. And I'm sure that teacher's dead by now. But Probably. I'm sure she remembers that I was like totally thrilled. I didn't really get what was going on. But no, I, of course you didn't. That's why it's so dumb that everyone was shown what was going on. Like, I had the same thought when I watched Mad Men and they had the, like, what was it? The Kennedy assassination or something mm. like that was playing on the TV and they have, like, the children gathered around it. It's the same crap, like, rolling the TV into every classroom. It's so like, they did. Can you just let their mother wow, you, tell them when they get are home? Are you telling me that it might, like, there was a mass trauma to people not fully capable of understanding it? Was that, like, a was that necessarily a part of it or do you think that happened by accident? I think it happened uh, by accident. Like, uh, it, really, really. Yeah, they, I, they, I went to school in fucking Polka, West Virginia, dude. I was in Polka Middle School. Um, and yeah, I, it was, you know, West Virginia school. But I, no, they just, this was a huge event. Uh, people I, people were in my school were like, do you think they're going to hit the DuPont plant that we live near? And it's like, <laughs> fucking yeah, no, the they're not going to hit the fucking DuPont plant. I didn't know at the time. I thought they were crashing into the building and getting out and shooting people, which is also not cool. If they were going to do that, but I was like, I had been getting into Tom Clancy. So I was like, I'm going to write my own guy. His name is Ryan Wolf and he's a, you know, he's cool. And I played Goldeneye and all that shit. So I just thought it was sweet. Uh, and I liked that the teacher was crying. You know, I was just a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, you are a piece of shit. You were like a sociopath at a young age. No, I just think That's things are funny. understanding here. No, I just think things are funny. Like if people get mad. That's funny. When people get upset and cry, that's usually pretty funny. Like, you uh, something bad happened to you today? It's probably pretty. How many times, how many times have I been right? This is how, why I'm a good friend of you, Abby, is something bad <laughs> happens to you. I laugh at it and I go, this is why that's funny. And then it takes you a couple weeks and then you go, yo, that was kind of funny. Yeah, I think you're also just, you get like this sadistic pleasure out of my pain a little bit. And that's mostly why you're laughing. But yes, you're right. It ends up funny later. But all traumas end up funny later. The worst things, maybe not. Okay, so, you know, all of them. So then why am I a fucking sadistic idiot? Because I can see into the future. Oh, is that what's going on now? You're a psychic? I'm not a psychic. I just know in the grand scheme of things, stubbing your toes funny. You know, I've always wanted to open, like, a psychic shop. You're going through a crappy little town, and there's just, like, a building or a little house, and it says psychic reader, right? Aren't you, like, and, uh, a Christian? Yeah, oh. but, I mean, I wouldn't be doing it for real. I'd just be scamming people. Oh, yeah, also. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, <laughs> also, I definitely. <laughs> that's going to be an awkward one to the King of Kings on Judgment. Day. Yeah, but definitely. Like so, you know, I, 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 I heard about, uh, you know, the Ten Commandments. Uh, thou shalt not steal is not on there, but thou shalt not psychic. Definitely one of them. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the psychic stuff you got to worry about. Uh, I'm just into the occult as like a joke. I was kidding. I'm kidding. We were <laughs> exactly. doing tarot card readings Trolling. and like Ouija board medium shit as a joke. No, oh, I'm kidding. It's a per it's performance art, right? Because I would dress up, I'd wear a whole outfit, and I would pretend to be a gypsy. And um, I would have like those like beads, you know. Why? Wait, hold on. Instead of doors. Is it? Isn't that just called Roma face? What do you mean you'd pretend to be a gypsy? Yeah, I would. Hey, -oh. no. What, at, you're what twisting point, this. At what point does your performance become um, like not okay though? <laughs> At no I, point. I don't think any part of this is okay, to be perfectly honest with you, Daffy. It's very All of... racist. Look, I'm just and... worried about your uh, eternal soul. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank I, you. I, oh, I, at least somebody is. I forgot. To, yeah, I guess Jesus isn't or whatever. I, I Look, I guess I forgot that <laughs> Taffy's. I, I guess Taffy's one of those guys who's like, oh, actually, if you fucking shop at Hot Topic, then you are going to. Dude, if, if the fucking Twin Towers were hit now, you'd be one of those guys who were like, you know, fuck the Dixie Chicks. All right? that's That sucks. This whole new wave. What? Uh, no, you are. Because this whole new wave <laughs> of this like, oh, we're going to deal about orthodoxy, all this fucking, you know, all this nonsense. It's, you, you, just, you just need 
you're just born in the, the specific time period that made you this age, that this is your, this version of what right wing is. And that sucks. And it sucks. Go buy a pack of tarot cards and have fun with them. They don't mean anything. They're just funny and they got cool fucking pictures on them. It doesn't matter. Doesn't Play Dungeons do and Dragons, faggot. What but you're not understanding. What does that have to do with the Dixie Chicks? I thought I heard somebody say Dixie Chicks. <laughs> I <laughs> did. You would have been what fuck. You would have said fuck the Dixie Chicks. What? They also He's said fuck the Dixie Chicks. They now He's call themselves something else now. The Chicks, I think they call them. The Chicks. Yeah, which that is sucks. a terrible name. But look, Brighton, I, you. What does that have to do we, with 9 11? We, you're missing I, here. Wait, hold though. on. Hold you're on. Saying, pause, pause. Hold on. Okay. Let, me, let me lay into them. What do you mean, what does canceling the Dixie Chicks have to do with 9 11? Young guy alert. Young guy alert. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Born. You got to look into your history, sir. Uh, what is happening right now? Did that's the Dixie Chicks, like, were they involved? They were. They did do it. They apparently. Were they supporters of Islamic extremism or something? They were on the planes. They were on all the planes. They were all three of them. Yeah. Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> the one that the, the one that went down and didn't hit anything. They weren't on. They were okay, very well, got, efficient got, terrorists. We can like table the whole Dixie Chick thing for a second, but I need to ask you guys: Do you think that like I kind of agree? And if Mark Wahlberg was on that plane, things wouldn't have went down the way they did. I do agree I with that completely. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of, like, not kidding either. No, I think he would have fucked some shit up, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree yeah. with you on that. And I and can we all also agree that maybe if Seth MacFarlane was on that plane, comedy would be better today? Yes. 100%. Uh, no comment. <laughs> But no, I want to I want to go back to what you were saying that like he wouldn't be orthodox if he wasn't in this period of time mm -hmm. in this place and all of that. We were born for the time we live in. This oh, is God. when we were meant Suck to live the in. Poop okay? out of my butt. So it's irrelevant. This is when we were born. This is the always when we were going to be born. Our souls were created for this yeah. moment right here too, right now born too late to explore the earth born too early to explore the galaxy born just in time to browse dank memes yeah or to not know about the connection between 9 11 and the dixie checks that's not a conspiracy this is just history of what happened yeah that's that's fine it's it's you know whatever you Brent's want friends all sad because he's old and now he feels old and he can feel it in his joints when someone yeah. younger than him doesn't understand a reference it like aches like do i have jo pain. do i have joints in my fucking brain no i get a i get a new wrinkle in my brain and a new feeling of fucking superiority of going i understand time better now you understand time better now yep what okay Okay, dear Abby, I am going to a party this weekend where I will have two ex-boyfriends. How do I handle this? Oh, not go to the party. Why would you no, go? She, she has to uh, go to the party. She why? Do you have, why do you have she two ex-boyfriends? Yeah, whore. Why do you have two ex-girlfriends, Tabby? Because he's a player, that's why. Because okay. women love him. They, that's because too many women love him. And there's not enough love to go around because he can only love one. Okay. He's a man of purity. That's why. Look, it doesn't work that you're defending Tappy when the other party isn't here. By the way, this is just... Wait, who is this other person? Do I know the person asking this question? Uh, no, but I do. She has to go to this party. Why? What? Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's no choice. What is it? What is fucking... she, does she have a boyfriend right now that's going to the party? No, no boyfriend. Oh no, she's going to get okay. fucking spit it roast. But she'll have a bunch of her friends around her. I, I like don't think that this is that big of a deal. Then I think that you just try to like act like a normal human being, but maybe interact with them as least as possible. Be cordial when you have to. Just I don't like. Just, I don't know. Like, how do I teach someone to be normal? Well, okay. I mean, so if you're no, the... I, think, I think it becomes a lot more difficult if you're like with your new boyfriend. Right? But like, I don't know. Just cool now that what is if... that 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 is great advice and also i if you're at the podium of how do i teach somebody to be normal that is a class i want to fucking attend so much i would pay for that and uh those seminars are going to be just as the kids say fire but how he envisions this normal behavior yeah what does he mean it'd be really cool to talk really fast and just like talk to people about um 
dumb shit. That's gonna it's gonna be really cool. But why does she have to? That that the, the, the none of you are fucking Sherlocking this shit, and I am. No, I don't need to Sherlock shit because I know she has to be there, or she wouldn't be having this conflict. What it's type? Why does she have to be there? Is yeah. this like a baby shower, or like what is this? It's her birthday. What, that would be the best. Kind of, <laughs> it's her birthday. What kind of party do you have to go to? Is it like a work party? Like, no, yeah. it's for someone else. It's a party for someone else. She has to go to. That she has to go to. Why don't you just contact that person and go, "Hey, man, um, I'm have COVID," and then don't go. It's not an option. You guys are not, you're not understanding that we're supposed to give her advice on how to interact or not interact at the party. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving uh, the well, ultimate. How, how many people are going to be at this party? Because if there's like four people at this party and her exes make up 50% of the party population, that's very it's, different than like. It's going to be like a dozen. But that's fine. Then just talk, try to be cordial and interact with them as little as possible, but be polite to them and then mostly talk to other people. No, see, all we're doing is setting her up to just, like, she already feels anxious about it. She's not going to have a good time. Have to go to a party is the stupidest bullshit in the entire world. Here's here's the best thing. Fucking lie. Like, you, just, you got a flat tire. You got COVID. You can, now, you can't do these every week with somebody. It's not a job. But you can get out of all of this stuff. Remember, every time you meet a person or get a new job, you have fucking four alive grandparents to get out of shit. All right. Oh, no. I mean, until you're like my age, then now they're like, okay, bullshit. Uh, but who lives to be a hundred, but you know, then you go with your parents or your sister or your cousin. That's no, true. I, I would agree that like lying is like surprisingly effective. Like when I was gaming, I would forget like, Oh, I can just like lie here. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, dude, I, I, I co-sign that just lie. And then the thing is too, like when people will like go through the effort of lying to me, and I know they're lying. I'm like, at least they lied. You know, uh, that's no, for my is feelings. Good. It protects. It protects your feelings. It protects the feelings of the people around you. Yeah, just, I think lying. I think lying is a virtue. It's, you it's, guys are still thinking in the box. I want to think outside okay, the box. Okay, no, okay. Well, either lie to get out of going, or if you're going, just lie because it'll be entertaining for you, and it also could like alleviate awkwardness. So if they say, "How are you doing? How have you been doing?" I guess that that's a question that might be asked. Don't tell them, like, oh, I'll never meet anyone as good as you ever again. And I've been drinking fucking boxed wine and rewatching uh -huh. the great B British Bake Off. To say, like, oh, I'm doing well, you know, uh, applying to uh, maybe go to master, get my master's degree. Uh, everything's, I'm, I'm, I'm looking into getting a uh, Range Rover. Just, just lie. It'll be interesting. See, that's uh, a good, it'll... that's good advice. Yeah, it'll alleviate the awkwardness and it'll make you feel better it'll it's entertaining to come up with lies uh it'll they're good i know you have to think about what lies you're gonna make i think that's you're gonna, good advice. you're gonna be america's next top model yeah. all right and also okay, that let's keep guy it over believable. there the other ex okay he was talking shit about you a minute ago i overheard it yeah no that's good but maybe don't do the model thing because i don't know who asked this but if you're friends with abby that's probably not too so true. so let's try to let's try to keep it in the realm of like plausibility right so like true. I'm sure I'm sure these that everyone who writes into the show is beautiful. No, you're right. You're right. They're all winners. You're all special. You're all winners. That's why you're listening to fucking here to home. They're all winners. You're right. They need help. They all need help. They're, They're a like, bunch of trolls. I like this guy's fucking attitude towards it. I mean, this is true. I might be able to <laughs> sub him out. I can just subcontract him out. <laughs> <laughs> he can just do the show, and then I'll play the switch. Why? I bet you have, like, such a well-adjusted audience of just, like, total socialites. Oh, they're normal people. They don't Tell just they're, they're judging. harass people constantly on the internet all the time. Yeah. The last time I had you on the show, I had to cut out 12 minutes of you talking about Rolexes. And it wasn't oh even half of <laughs> yeah, that, the Rolex talk. That is probably talk. something I did, yeah. Why did you it was cut literally out... not even half of it. Why did you not cut? Why did you fucking cut out the good parts of the show? Oh my goodness gracious. It yeah, because you're so, like, oh, they didn't, didn't like it. it. The reviews were bad. It's like, yeah, the reviews were bad because they were missing vital content. Yeah. They were missing vital content. It's all my fault. Yeah, I was sitting there and saying, Happy, Happy, 
you're supposed to do the bit. And he's just like, yeah, no, but if you want to really get to get the Rolex, you want to go to this place and you got to pay this much. That sounds like fucking valuable oh, information. Oh, okay. One second, one second. I remember this was like uh, before the Rolex. So the Rolex market's like down right now, but this was like oh, at the God. peak of like how crazy it was. And Abby, I was, I was more than happy to just do the bit and get to the routine. But the reason I had to go on a rant was because Abby thought that you could walk into a Rolex boutique and like buy a Daytona for MSRP. No. Which is like insane. That's not how it works. Yeah, Abby. I got, it was mansplaining the episode. Maybe that's why I hated it. So yeah, because you had like no idea about like anything. Because like normally you can skip through conversations by being like, "Oh, we both understand this, so let's get to the part that like we disagree on or the interesting part." But I had to explain everything because you were just like so clueless. So Which I, part. by the way, normally that's uh, you. You are right, but that's normally not how podcasts work at all. Normally, you explain every single thing. But, um, yeah, Abby is a fucking dumb bitch, huh? I fucking love it. It's, it's like having to talk to somebody that, like, just gained sentience. Like, that's oh, somebody man. that just fell off the turnip truck, Are you basically. Kidding me? <laughs> it's crazy, dude. It's like, and it's every week. It's every week, dude. It's so nuts. She's a fucking moron. <laughs> I hope she dies. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Why am I here? Why am I here? I don't know. Right now. I don't know. Some people, some people ask that every week. They download it, and they're like, why is Abby here? You just you, you <laughs> yank me around on my emotions all over the place and just tear me apart every week. And it's just not okay because you you wanted the show too, you know, and I wanted the money, I, I wanted the cashola. I can leave if you guys need them. <laughs> Happy, I need you to stay. Okay, okay. Uh, oh my god, no. Is my computer crashing? No, don't do this to me. I, okay, I no, can, it's okay. Okay, good. We can hear you. Okay, well, wasn't there like a deer Reddit or something? Oh my, thank you, Taffy, very much. You know what? You should be the producer on the show. You're so good at this. I'm okay. Uh, well, you're okay. Uh, time to get to our Reddit advice segment. Yes, yes, yes. Do, 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 do. Uh, from r slash teenagers. My hamster exploded. What? Um, it was a microwave. Crying... It was a fucking microwave. No. I've been crying in my room for two hours now. I was making some salad dressing in the kitchen with my pet hamster, Manny. I let him roam around. Good hamster name. My... Good hamster name. Can we just good. point out great hamster name, Manny? It's pretty good. That's a good fucking hamster name. Gerbil also could go. Guinea pig, not so much. Guinea... My sis. Go ahead. Well, I'm just trying to think of good fucking pet names because we got time to fill. It's only been 27 minutes. I feel like it's been four episodes. And <laughs> we haven't gotten to the first piece of content yet. <laughs> Stop calling it content. I'm going to turn on you. You're not supposed to warn him that it's not a surprise. Well, it's not a surprise. He's my, he's my bro. And you just turn on all your bros? That sounded really gay. I like a, a, a Martin American lad be like... Anyway, sorry, continue. Never mind. Don't he worry does, about he, it. He just That's has for the to fans. shit talk American lad. You know what I should do is get American lad on the podcast. Oh, you should. Uh, oh, I please. forgot about that guy. He's cool. I like please. him. Please. Did you just say American lad is cool? I, I uh, yeah, I had known that guy for a long time. I'm not on Twitter anymore, but yeah, he, uh, I, mean, he I, cool. I have to. Yeah. Um, we love American lad. American lad's going through a rough time right now. We love uh, him. Well, I hope it gets funny. He's recovering from gay reversal surgery. <laughs> Got his ass. Yeah, no, he has he, he has flare ups when he drinks rose, but other than that, he's doing the <laughs> Somebody has to clip this part for him. He'll love it. We'll tell we'll tell him I said we'll clip this part too. Tell him I said hello. I you know, I never had a problem with it. I like I'll it. Him, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. This is the show now. I had to tell so and so I said hi. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna take a pee. Tell no, Matt Forty we tomorrow. said hi. Okay, that's okay. Back to the back to the hands. <clears throat> my sister and her friends were also in there doing something. I spilled a bottle of vinegar, so I left to get a towel, and when I came back, Manny was drinking it. The vinegar. I didn't think anything of it, so I let him help me clean it all up. Can hamsters all of have his... vinegar? Wait, if this ends with him eating baking soda, too, I'm, this is not a real story. <laughs> yeah, it can't all be. Of, all of a sudden, Manny starts acting really weird. He's normally very full of energy, but he was just sitting still. Everyone gathered around him to try to figure out what was wrong. So now you've got like a, several teenagers all gathered around this hamster who has a tummy ache. 
just staring at him. Uh, suddenly, we hear a fizzing noise coming from inside Manny, and he started expanding. Oh, no. This is... Like, what? Like, the fucking... Uh, what's your face from the, the, the Wonka? God damn it. Exactly. Uh, the blueberry. Yeah. What's her... Uh, I want to say Cruella de Vil, but that's not the same broad. No, She's hot. Uh, it's uh, Violet. Yeah, yeah, Violet. Oh, Violet's the one that's like a bad egg. That's like the. I don't oh care no, how you're I right. Now that's like the rich one. Who is the Who is the person that explodes and like turns purple and gets too fat? I he thought her name was the... Violet because she turns purple. I thought so too, but it might be the Ger no the German kid gets the chocolate. That's... Oh, okay. The um Lucy says Violet, you're turning Violet, so it was Violet. She gets like she turns violent and then gets big. Yeah. It's so like, who is the rich one then? She was rich. Lacrucia, something like that. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Lacrucia, did you say? What? Arusha. Arusha was the rich one. Arusha. Uh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Veruca. 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 Salt. Veruca. Salt. Veruca. Yeah, yes. Yeah. There you go. You're listening to the. Who wanted it podcast? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Between the four of us, that after a minute and a half, we got there eventually. I can't wait till the uh, Timothy Chalamet Wonka backstory comes out. That'll be exciting. Is it not Chalamet? I don't know how you say freaking Frenchman. It's names. probably not Chalamet, dude. All I know is that when I was in choir, when we had to sing French songs, we would be told to use our noses as much as possible. Any other time, you would literally get smacked. Which was really have easy for Abby because it's head. so big. That... Yeah, she does yeah. suck. Everybody hates her. I'm a walking nose. You know, it would be fine because I like I'm fine with my nose, right? I think it's 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 interesting and distinct and and it's kind of pretty, but like in a in a prominent way, but. What bothers me is how often strangers feel comfortable talking to me about my nose. Like, just coming up to me. Like, what? Coming up and fucking offering you... about my nose. No. Honestly, they... no, I, I get that, because the same thing happens to me when I'm in my gray fear of God sweatpants. Like, people just want to talk to me. Very strange. No, I got that I meme. I got that meme, but you don't have a giant yeah. penis. I don't want to know. Either way, what the gray the sweatpants, know? the gray sweatpants. Yeah, no, I know thing. what that means because Roscoe's always talking about it. Also disgusting when he does it. What is wrong with you people? Well, we got dicks that we like talking about. Mine's handsome. Yeah. Look, I'm sure I would too if I had one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Can, what happened to Mr. Hamster? Oh, right. It exploded. We the story. It did explode. So suddenly he started expanding and he let out a final squeak. And bursted. Bubbles and blood went everywhere. My sister and her friends started screaming and crying. I ran and got my dad and he cleaned it up. We looked in the pantry and apparently Manny got into the baking soda. And oh my god! Bread. This podcast, you, we're to the <laughs> point where we're giving, we're being asked to give advice for fake stories. This did not, this is insane. Tappy, this... what show do you think this is? That's true. That's true, Tappy. You're wrong like, on this. Give advice to like real Reddit stories. There's a lot of stories on Ask Reddit that are like that, like happen, right? They're not real. None of them are real, but we pretend they're real anyway. That is true. None of them are. Yeah, but real. what are the odds if you were gonna eat two ketchup ingredients, you would happen to eat the two that like most famously don't mix well? Well, okay. Just because it's it's low odds doesn't make it impossible. <laughs> this there is were one of the low... stupidest fucking things I've ever heard in my life. Well, I... There were low odds that uh, Bryden would be born taller than both of his parents. It's still extremely short, like yeah, a leprechaun true. man. It's true. And yet, that's what happened. Like these things happen. Here, let me give you the perfect. Yeah. Let me give you the perfect <laughs> low odds so that you can just sit and think about this. Put this apple in your head and think about it. Um, oftentimes, that, dad, pen and vape it. oftentimes, um, a, 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 an argument for uh, there being a god. Is that uh, you know who? What are the odds that this would happen? Like it's all beautiful, we're sentient, and, like there's trees and tigers and you know pussy and like all that stuff. Um, well, the odds are really low, but it could still fucking happen, even if you run the numbers. So what's to say you're not the one in that infinite amount of numbers? Well, I guess um, it's good that that's not how we do our apologetics. Then I'm just I saying. I agree, I agree with you that the reddit thing is a bit retarded but 
if, okay. if, if you if you could just picture a hamster exploding. Nope. So are we just like what? Is, what is the commentary we're giving on this story? Are we giving advice? Or yeah, are don't. We just laughing that it's funny? Yeah, my advice I guess is... the advice. The advice would just be to like maybe uh, first off, don't let your hamster free roam the kitchen, and also keep the maybe. Uh, baking soda and vinegar on separate planes of elevation, like one on the top shelf, one on the bottom. There you go. No, don't let your hamster exploding fucking stop you from just like good common sense fucking baking. I would say get a new hamster. That's fine. It's a hamster. He's okay. Get a new hamster. When they explode, you could just buy another one. They don't cost very much money and they don't eat very much either. Also, in the name of science, run that experiment again. Just I see. Why not? Just see, maybe he had like, you know, you might have a lawsuit against the fucking pet company. You could go over to that store, the Petco, pet company, as I call defective. it. Yeah, yeah, you, you could, could try to see if it's still under warranty. Try yeah. to get your like six dollars back. If you if you make like five of them explode, and you also go around and make other people's explode, you could go to the pet store and feed them baking soda and vinegar, and then you could start up like a class action lawsuit. We can't get go, wait, about, on, like, uh, the exploding hamsters. You can't go and feed explosives to hamsters, though. That's that's terrorism. <laughs> I'm saying if they had defective hamsters, you go to the pet company, you buy more hamsters, and then you try them out and you see, and then you film it, and then boom, lawsuit, dude. Oh. Imagine bringing, like, a uh, essentially inverted hamster back to Petco, like, where its outsides or where its insides should be, and being like, uh, I think that there's something wrong with this hamster. I, get <laughs> I think it's broken. It just explodes out from its butthole and wraps around. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be the coolest hamster, though. No. I suppose. Like, Inside Out Boy from way back when. On the old, it's only the olds are going to get that one. Yeah, um, stop making old man jokes. Don't, why? They're the most popular with our entire Discord, which is now just my Discord. Yeah, you did take it over a little bit. Okay, <laughs> everyone listen. The link to the Discord server is in the show description, okay? Click on it. Join the Discord server if you're an a bitch, okay? If you're a bry dog, do not apply. You should. You should, you should pop up. You'll love fucking love the memes. We're doing true detective stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't know, Matchless yeah. is in Mexico, and he said Cabo sucks. We're doing all kinds of cool shit. Yeah, he's been doing weird things. Yeah. Well, what are you doing? And then there's some like? orthodox guys in there, and there's more of those than there were before, so there's a lot more of that talk going on. So they get nice. shouted oh, that's down. Always, that, that's always really uh, productive and uh, enjoyable in my no, but I, they're only people who are cool and agree with me, so we're not really arguing oh, about any enough. of it. There are people There's no that, arguments or debates. Yeah, because there is no debate, because terror management oh, theory reigns supreme and undefeated, that's why. Okay, so like, I, I actually arguing uh, is right. I need to join the Discord, because I've actually really enjoyed my time spent talking to a 17-year-old about marital debt. I actually... I find that <laughs> no really one's talking about so. Look, what you need to understand, Taffy, is first of all, you're in the server. I am? I'm pretty sure you were already in there. <laughs> I not? didn't know that. Okay. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe you're not. I don't know. I'll add you to it later. But it's good I'm episode. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm, okay. I'm okay. No one is talking about the marital debt in there. Mm -hmm. It's actually very chill. Nobody. The Twitter arguments are not happening in there. They were making fun of my tweets, but that just happens. Okay, I think that's all the hamster advice we have, probably. Okay, he just left to pee, and he left the door open, I guess. Let's just listen. If he stops singing. Taffy, how do you feel fun. about the uh, the level of professionalism on this program right now? I think that I'm it good. leaves something to be desired. Yeah. But I also think, think so. that, uh, and it's kind of charming in a certain way, because, like, when this is inevitably, like, essentially the Joe Rogan experience, we're going to look back on these days and be like, and we didn't know what we had. It's, um, it's a couple of, couple of internet friendos hanging out on Discord, uh, not muting their microphones, not having their noise gate set up, uh, like, leaving the bathroom door open when they take their break, and you're going to be like, wow, that was, like, authentic and now when you start reading your your uh better help and hello fresh ad reads you're gonna think back to these days 
I will, and I'll think, man, wasn't it great that Bryden totally ruined the show every episode and actively did not give a shit and wanted to destroy it, actually? Well, no, but then you'll be like, but now uh, Raid Shadow Legends is giving us a fat bag, so maybe everything had to happen the way it had to happen for us to get to where we are. You're so As, right, uh, Kathy. Do you, know who, be do you know who successful. James Cage White is? No. Is that that Asian dude? Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, he always says it's fate. Everything is fate. Like, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't buy a Steam game today. It is fate. Um, I think he that's going to be you guys. Things. Yeah, and he, he's the guy that eats banana as a reward. He does? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy yeah, with the yeah. t-shirts. I'm a big fan. I don't... I don't know. I think that that sort of thing is cute in the beginning, but once it's been milked for, like, years, it's very obnoxious to me. Like, do you remember that Target girl, the Tori the Target girl, who was, like, uh, the oh, yeah, guy... Where, like, that guy was, like, rude to her, so for some reason people just decided to team up to give her, like, $30,000. Well, yeah, he goes around and, like, tries to scam people and, like, pretend things are happening that aren't. He Wait, was trying to get a YouTube? toothbrush is for still, one this cent. On YouTube? Probably. Yeah, is still... Okay, because, like, um... Oh, this no, I'm show? Saying, is this yes. show? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, well, yeah. I feel like uh, I would prefer if we not talk about the Tory Target toothbrush incident because, like, we have to leave out the necessary details to make any conclusions. But we'll just we'll just take. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna uh, delve too deep into it. I was just gonna yeah, say. Yeah, no, that, but there like... are reasons that that went down the way that it did, and uh, we're gonna have to let the listeners uh, choose to delve into that for themselves if they if it strikes their fancy. But I, basically, what I would say is that there was a display toothbrush that was about like a hundred dollars because it was a nice electrical toothbrush, and then um, the display unit said like point one cent or whatever because it was a display unit, and he tried to like check out with it and he caused a scene, and then people felt bad for her because wage target workers don't deserve that and they like go funded her a vacation and she turned into a celebrity and if you want to know why the toothbrush incident happened the way it did uh that is your rabbit hole to explore dear viewer yeah well what i was gonna say is about her like making herself a celebrity out of it uh really bothered me because i find her on on twitter like two years later and she's got like fifty thousand followers or millions of followers or whatever the hell it is and yeah. she's like made a like she's target tory and every day she posts inspirational uh, uh tweets about how we should all love each other and be positive and be nice to each other and like she's famous and people give her money because of some stupid little thing that happened where she looked real real annoyed in a picture and it's like these people go viral one time and then i have to see their freaking faces forever and i hate them for it I think that's I think that's good. She turned what was potentially a very negative uh, situation and uh, gave it a good spin. Peace, love, and positivity. Reframe uh, all the negative. There's too much negativity in this world, Abigail. Yeah. I yeah, I've been. Um, I, I just I, I switched. You know, I've been playing Switch, and I think that's been picking up the entire time when you guys were talking about the really gay, boring shit. I think that we should take our inspiration where we can get it, even from the most unlikely places. Hey, Target Tory. Brighton, put the switch down. What? She's talking about something that's not gay. Be funny. Okay, well, this is your show, too. How about you contribute and change the conversation? Uh, be funny. Here, here's the conversation. You're fags. Beep, boop, 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 the boop, contempt boop, 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 for the audience boop, 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 on this show is No, it's my contempt toward you, dude. Like, toward me? Yeah, it's so... I on the show. Look, Tappy was just giving me a whole speech about how we're going to be famous sucks. like so Joe started... Rogan someday. I know. I started, I started Shadow Legends. Yeah, I started playing fucking Switch. That way everybody knew that it was gay. Okay. Dude's literally on his bing bing wahoo over here while we're on a podcast. This is what I have to deal with every week. I'm trying to do a show. I'm trying to make good content. And this would be you know, two levels. We've got people that are not on on the call that were supposed to be on the freaking call. Okay. Okay, I hate you. We're gonna do another story. Is it weird that my girlfriend wants me to send her weekly photos of my poo? Yeah, that's yes. That's fucking yeah, that's weird. I guess we're done. Huh, we're, yeah, I mean, okay, that's... Nice. There's that's not... That yeah, there's not one fucking... I can't imagine... Is she a doctor who thinks that he's got problems with his colon? She's, 
She certainly thinks she's a doctor. No, if she's a doctor who's like, listen, you have colon problems. You need to just check up with me. Then that makes sense. Otherwise, yeah, that's fucking odd. Uh, uh, a little so, on the fussy butt, I would say. So this is the situation. My girlfriend of one year has suddenly told me she's always been fascinated by poo. Nope. She's, <laughs> she says that our poo reflects our gut health. The yeah, that's true. No, she's no, a health nut. That's true. She's right. Fine. Correct. But I, that's. There's a good reason. That if she's like, you know, I want to know the real you, the you inside. <laughs> that's not. That's, that's so romantic. Like, ah, let me see them fucking it's like, logs. It's like when, uh, you know, like if a girl was to say, like, oh, I love you so much that I want to rip my heart out of my chest and feed it to you, then that would just be romantic and not gross. It's not but romantic. for some reason. That's also weird. Oh. I'm going to have to edit the uh, novel I'm writing. Tonight. Yeah, I don't think I that, that that's good. good. Mm -mm. <laughs> not even a little bit. Like, that's the opposite. That's like, she might be dyslectic because she's like, oh, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. She was just got that. She got that all fucked up. <laughs> all right. Uh, I was shocked. I didn't believe her when she told me this. So she showed me her album on her phone of her own dumps. There were hundreds of photos dating back as early as 2020. Um. Yeah, I just feel like you should be disgusted with her and never want to sleep with her again once you. Uh, I mean, I would well, go... maybe a couple, maybe a couple more times with that, but then let it let it kind of rest there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go like that part. Let's not put let's not put the cart before the horse here. Like. Right, animals, just disgusting, wild animals. Yeah, and that's that's oh yeah, and I'm sure in that Rolling gay little book, in the poop. I'm sure in your heart feeding novel that you have going on right now. <laughs> It's not that they're wild animals. It's like he was like a wild animal when he had a fucking boner or whatever Fifty Shades well, of Grey is about. Because there's no poop. There's I sometimes just poop. Keep her at arm's reach, but like keep her at arm's reach. But it's not. I don't think we're in like blocking the number territory. But yeah. No, there is. Uh, but <laughs> no, that's you stay away from that because like that's I I'm, I also I can't judge too much because the reason that I. Spent like a year taking Instagram pictures of my poop and hashtagging what I ate and the restaurants that I ate at on Instagram was for the bit. Wait, and is that not does that not violate Instagram terms of service? They eventually got me, yes, but I got I was okay, like a good. year. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. It was like a year. Uh, and it was uh, I was at vegan wow. poops. Uh, and I I just every <laughs> everything I ate, every like brand, every restaurant. All of that shit. I would just hashtag it. So when people were like, what a yummy restaurant, you know, like uh, veggie grill is or whatever, uh, they would just be like, oh, that looks cool. And then there's just a turd. And <laughs> it went on for way too long. It was awesome. You were a vegan making like anti-vegan propaganda. No, I was just being a fucking turd. Yeah, that is what you are. Well, I don't know. I, like uh, Nobody is as good at ruining shit as I am. Besides maybe yeah, Tappy. Besides maybe how Tappy. How long, are, how long are we scheduled for? Uh, well, we have another hour after this. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Continue. Yeah, we got 15 more minutes on this. I mean, next episode's okay. an hour. There is a break in between. You don't got to do shit. Okay. No, no, I don't, I don't think you're right. He sounds real enthused. I'm proud. our program. Well, your program. Your program. You've ruined it's it. Mine? It's mine now? You've ruined it. Oh, what yeah, by I the way. Do? Well, because You're on your Switch! Well, yeah, it's Mario. You gotta play a little Mario every now and oh, then. yeah. That's what we should be doing. Like, why are we even here? Why are we doing this? People don't... People don't respect this. What we're doing. Oh, people respect me a lot. I got a whole no separate Patreon. You. I got a separate I think Patreon. you are a very respectable person. Thank you. You too. Oh. Now, this Abby, is... on the other hand. Why don't you two just go be gay together? Fine. Well, well we can't. Because of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now she, why was that funny? I don't even know. <laughs> Isn't there somebody you forgot to ask? <laughs> now she wants me to send photos over text of my poops at least twice a week so she can analyze them. 
And because she says she finds it interesting. No, no, so no, that's where you ruin it. Like, it's not, it, it, she's like, I'm worried about your health. That's one thing. It's like, okay, twice a week, is there blood in it? Like, the other the other day, I had, uh, it was on Sunday, I had, um, I went to the Whole Foods, and I had uh, the Clearly Carrot. And, they, it's you know, it should clearly have more carrot than anything else in it. But it was, like, super clearly, red with, yeah. yeah, you would think. It's in the name. It was red with beets, and it, it still tasted fine because it's got, like, orange juice and kale and what the fuck ever in it, right? Um, love love their juice bar over at the Whole Foods. but Yeah, Whole Foods is great, I think. They're great, yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. Do you know, it, I just recently learned that they sell food there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they sell other things besides juice for, you know... Well, oh, I, I think I think Abby got that one, but I think that one went by here. But anyway, continue. It probably did. Listen, I'm just trying to... I, I, I don't listen to when other people talk. I'm in the middle of a thing. You be yeah, quiet when I talk. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. They, they've got this stupid juice, and it was so red with fucking beets. Like, she just put too many beets in there. Stupid what, Brian? Beets. The Before beets. Before that. Stupid what? Beets. Okay. She put all these stupid beets in there. In what? The juice. The what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I said like a slur or anything like that. Um, <laughs> it's just the way you had said stupid juice <laughs> the first time. Oh. That's all in your mind. No, it's the juice, not Jewish people, <laughs> whom I, I totally support in their valiant effort against what are Genocide? they called? The Pakistanis or whatever? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's whatever they're doing over there. Something I about. I support know. Israel and their genocide. I, I listen. Think that, yeah, everybody has a right to self determination. I just hope that I just hope that all those Jews don't hurt those pyramids over in Egypt or whatever they're doing right now. Oh, they will. Um, but you know, it's whatever they're doing. You know, God bless all of Brooklyn's real estate uh, brokers over there <laughs> fighting valiantly. <laughs> Uh, doing whatever the hell they're doing like i, I you love know. them and their tunnels yeah i they're great guys they're well they're really good at building shit i, I know they, really I know they are. are so maybe they'll revamp the mir- pyramids over in fucking iran or whatever they're doing over there but oh, there was gosh. too much beet juice and then okay. the next day or it was later that day or something i i forget but i went to go take a shit and i was at the Publix, and i was like oh this is a bad shit and then I just plopped the big one in there. It was all liquidy and stuff like that. So I looked down. I'm like, what's happening? It was all red. Oh, my gosh. And I was, like, looking between my dick and the water. And I'm like, why is it all red? And I'm sitting there panicking. Well, and I'm to, like. To be fair, you had a pretty good view of the situation. Well, yeah, I get it. I got a small dick. Uh, you said that. I didn't say that. Yeah, I had to look big, past my big, fat stomach to do that. I'm basically 40. I'm aware of that. Uh so I had to look past my big fat stomach, okay, <laughs> past my small penis, Tappy, good jokes, you're, you're so fucking funny, and then I saw all this fucking, like, you know, it was like fucking speaking to Jews, Moses and the Red Sea, I'm looking down there and I'm like, oh my god, what happened, and I was like, it didn't hurt, am I okay, and then I remembered the goddamn beet juice, it was the fucking beet juice. It was brutal. And then I never shit, you know, anything that looks like blood for hours after that. What a riveting story. I thought Brian. so. I thought so. I'm glad that we spent 10 minutes on that. That was good. Yeah. I thought so. That was good. Um... It was It was hard for me. I was in a public bathroom. It's not like I could check. It's not like I yeah, could go to the fucking the mirror over at the Publix. And then if somebody came in and be like, no, I'm just checking my butt for cuts. Just seeing if I have a hemorrhaged fucking hemorrhoid Surely here. Surely you would feel it. That's what I thought too. That's why I was like staring, you know, past my big fat gut and past my small penis into the Red <laughs> Sea of the bathroom of the of the toilet, and I was like, you know, I surely I would know. So I th- it was fine, guys. It was good. Yeah, it sounds like it was fine. And if you had just sent pictures of it to your girlfriend, she could have told you that. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think she would have said go to the doctor. Also, I I knew that there was too much beet juice in that that fucking juice. I knew it was going to cause me trouble from 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 jump. I knew it. Still charging me eight fifty for that shit for a twelve ounce juice. 
It's a yeah. little ridiculous. You, you paid it. That's basically an IQ test right there. Well, it's so delicious, it really though. Is. Nah, I'm so good. So good. It's, dude, it's fresh squeezed. You know what else is an IQ test? Buying those, like, Bolt House Farms protein shakes that they have. I don't know Okay, what that is. so, like, most protein shakes, like, pre-made protein shakes you get have kind of a lower calorie count because it's not for bulking. Like, it's it's not, like, insures, which is for old people to put on weight, right? Wait, hold on. What's, what's a protein shake? Are you joking? It's a teen shake that gets paid. Ooh. Oh, God. You were joking. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, but those things are like 400 calories. That's like dinner. And sugar drinks. That's a yeah. fucking... No, that's a, The Bolt House Farms. Like, they do all those juices, like Blue Machine and Green Machine, and they have, like, chocolate protein shakes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Those protein shakes are, like, a massive amount of calories. Those are... Those they are make you fat. They're 100% sugar. I don't drink those. No, no it's terrible. What always surprised me would see in like college classrooms like the lecture hall where everybody's just sitting around like doing nothing and then these fat kids would pull out fucking cliff bars and just eat them in the middle of the lecture i'd be like dude that is for rock climbing that is to fit as many calories in the smallest amount of space as possible so you can have like a meal in your pocket oh, while no. you're climbing the side or of a like fucking a mountain meal, wait, or like wait, a meal you're... replacement thing so yeah, like you're that's sort of in thing... like trigonometry like what is happening right now? what oh uh, real quick well they're fat where did you get the idea that cliff bars are for rock climbers. Have, it's, on the, it's, on the, it's on the package. It's on it's the package. That's great. Yeah. You're not, you're it like, is. cyclists, not a chance. You drink Luna, you eat Luna bars, dickhead. Because that's no, who's I, on your I package. Don't, I don't think that's like, no, that's because no. I would prefer a cyclist get hit by cars. No, okay, that's, like that's like, that, that's like the Mr. Burns seeing Krusty get the Krusty O's. He goes, excuse me, where can you find the Burns O's? What the fuck do you mean? Cliff bars are for rock climbers they only. Are, well, like somebody exerting a lot of effort. That it certainly isn't happening in fucking trigonometry class. I'll tell you that. For a fact. I, you I can take that to the bank. You can take that to the bank, Bryden. I have to. I have to say this, and I hate this. Abby's right. They are a meal replacement. Yeah, why, they're supposed why to be but clearly the, meals the, at 1 30 p.m in trigonometry class because they're not going to eat dinner lunch. yeah they skip lunch or they're not going to eat dinner until they go home to their asian parents at fucking okay. nine no if you were as fat as these people were trust me i don't think they're replacing they're they're a meal additive they're not a meal replacement okay. no meal it could being go either way ever okay it could go either way right because they're fat maybe they want to lose weight or they're fat so they can't stop shoving food into their pie holes which one of those do you think is more likely? I had a I salad and my head hurts. This is like an inkblot type question. Which one, which, how do you view humanity? Which is more likely? They're actively losing weight by replacing meals with cliff bars if they're fat, or they're continuing their spiral? Which, oh, which oh. strikes you as more likely? Oh, let me go first. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, that was productive. I, I, that actually, they're, they're going to meet the same end anyway. So. I love her so much, and the past year has been amazing, <laughs> and she has never done anything like this before. I'm not sure what to do. Wait, hold on, hold on, pause, wait. What? what do you mean she's never done, I've been in with her a year and a half, she's never done anything like this before. This is a new poop development? Yes, this is new. She's never asked for this before or told him about her like hundreds of pictures. So she her. probably was hiding this. There's no way, if she develops a new shit fetish, with you while you just started dating her i mean basically no matter what the answer is run but that's a wild one no he Mr. said Grange. that uh it started like the pictures on her phone go back to 2020 and they've only been dating a year and this isn't recent this she's, is a recent post she's yeah. got four years of shit how many that's tens of thousands of shit pictures it's a lot. Well, I mean, I, I doubt she takes every, takes a picture every time. Oh, oh, you doubt now you're just like, well, clearly not every time she's taking, she has tens of thousands of shit pictures, shit pictures in yeah. general that aren't for fun of like, let me send that to the bro. That'll be hilarious. That, oh, that's different. Do we that, think this is like Ayala, by the way? If you mention you one more. Do think this is what? Sorry, repeat this, that. Ayala. How do you, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but like A-E-L-L-A, that. That's oh, a, yeah, yeah, no. This uh, might literally be Ayala. It could be. If it you mention like more, 
if you mention more Twitter people that I don't know or care about or will not withstand the test of time of this being up in four years when I have tens of thousands of shit pictures on my phone, I'm not I'm not going to be nice to you. Can we, like, acknowledge this? Can I take a two-second aside to talk about ALA for a second? No. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Abby. <laughs> um, so I think that, like, imagine going through... Hold on, watch this. Out. Wait, wait, wait. Like... I have the ability to mute him on my end. Oh. Well, imagine the ability... He can't, no, nobody the can hear. The podcast can't hear you. He, nobody can hear it's... you. Nobody can hear you. I don't care what that is. Taking the STD He's test still the going. <laughs> okay, hold on. He's muted again. Nobody's gonna. Nobody's gonna hear it. I'll just talk. It's fine. I'll just. You know the problem with this fake taffy is you're right. You're right. Okay? I don't know who that is. I don't but care. What nobody can hear you. The, what if the fluffer was nope. cuter? What if the fluffer was hotter than Ayala? Yeah. But I, I feel like at this point, it's not oh, really shit. about like oh, who has some more God. Okay, God, God dang it. At this point, it's not. It's like less about who has a more. Okay. So he's muted for the rest of the fucking show. We are at an hour. She stinks. They were like, no, I can't go. Okay. Look, we're gonna You're continue also with muted. This. Okay. So, uh, guys, Abby is also muted. Tappy is muted. Uh, so I guess I'm going to close out the show. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Uh, I'm sorry. It was a fucking terrible mess, uh, but that's okay. Um, you can check out Abby over at Octo Abby. That's, uh, Abby with an I, uh, you can check out Tabby over on OnlyFans. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm over, uh, kick.com slash Bryden Proctor. Um, as you go out into the world, uh, just remember, we're like the only ones that can like are here to help or some bullshit like that. Also, subscribe to the Patreon. All right, we'll see you on the bonus.